of names to be approved. Let them bring, let them give us the breakdown of how much money has released to our account. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Ridikiri, I think you are very much in order. Uh, I think there's also an interest on this matter. And uh, let me give it to Honorable Godfrey Ruku. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, since this is a house of records, Mr. Speaker, it's good to put records straight as far as the uh, Better North constituency is concerned. It's one of the constituencies which has been learned uh, for having two members who have been abandoned uh, to be part of the committee of the uh, CDF. Uh, the ones which have been used by the chairman, Mr. Speaker, uh, they are putting Better North, and especially the member of Better North in ban right. Uh, it is good to inform uh, the Honorable Chairman that Better North Constituency Development uh, uh, Committee has been performing very well. There is a quorum and every business has been conducted extremely well and professionally. We have not had any issues as far as performance of its duties under the CDF Act is concerned. So I think it is good to put that into uh, records of this House, Mr. Speaker. Uh, number two, um, different constituencies are affected in different manner. Better North constituency has experienced more than five uh, consecutive season failures, uh, I mean in terms of crop failure, and payment of the school fees is one of the greatest problems we are having in Better North constituency, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, if the Honorable Chair can expedite the process of ensuring all constituencies in the Republic of Kenya, they get their uh, allocations uh, in a timely manner, it will save a lot when it comes to the pains which the household in our constituencies are uh, uh, fearing in terms of payment of the school fees. And of course, this will go along in improvement of academic performance uh, of these constituencies we have in the Republic of Kenya, and more so the improvement of academic performance uh, of Better North uh, constituency, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, I request the Chairman to put more effort in ensuring we have enough resources, enough fund, money, as well as when we request to alter allocations uh, marked if Bursary goes for 35%, when we request the board to allow us uh, to use more than that 5%, we have well-founded lessons to do that. I know uh, our requests uh, are, are getting derailed by the bureaucracies within uh, uh, the CDF board. I think also, Mr. Speaker, if need be, we might revisit uh, the CDF board uh, where necessary, uh, as we have done with, uh, with SRC. Uh, so, Mr. Chairman, before we do that, before we take that action, please ensure the CDF uh, board, it is behaving as if they know more of the problems of my constituents or these constituencies, more than a member of parliament who has been elected in each and every village uh, within the constituency. They should hear and respect the opinion which is coming out of serious public participation, which we have conducted during campaigns, and also even uh, when we are having different meetings within the constituency. So our request, when we write to the board, should be at least honored, and honored in a timely manner. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very well. Any other member who wants to speak on this should uh, put intervention, so that I'll be able to see you. Just put intervention, please. Very well. Next to speak on this.